Bill said, when you're ready, your school song, please. Oh, 
new seats this year. Who? Jeez. They're over on this side this year. Smart move your way back.
The Bulldogs have won the top of the loop to kick off the start of the game. You can hear us? We can't hear yeah. us at all. You can't hear me? Yeah, I can't hear you. I can't hear Jake at all. No, he can hear me. He can. Test, 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 test. <clears throat> test, 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 test. Can you hear me? Test, 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 test. No. You got me too? Test, 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 test. I just can't hear you at all. I can. If, if you can hear us, that's fine. Oh. We just, we'll just do it with, we can't hear each other. Just do it just like this. <clears throat> Hello. Uh, no. Oh, there he goes. He's got to stay up. He stays up. We might have a flashback from last weekend. Maybe so. He had some vision there, and it was 58 Grant Camarillo on the tackle as well. Jake, first drive of the game for the Bearcats. Right out of the gate. What are we expecting here? Uh, let's see what they're going to line up in. Got a little size mismatch up, kind of up top a little bit. Yeah, you got a little mismatch up top. 72 for Millsaps, the one to watch here. There's a snap. Ooh. Glad he keeps it up to the left side, kind of in the middle. Oh, it's a pretty decent little game right there. Sonny Burke, Sonny Burke was not uh, messing around with 72 there. Right? No, Sonny Burke's pretty strong himself. It's going to be a little 72 on 72 action tonight. Yeah, but if Sonny. Yeah. 
takes a snap. Looks out right. He's gonna fight Klein Hessler. Hessler's there we go, Hessler. Still fight, still fight. And he's gonna pick up the first down pretty easy. Nice little pitch and catch right there. Picks up the first down pretty easy, Jake. Yes, sir. I'm not sure if that wasn't a busted play. Yeah, it kind of looked like it. The snap got there a little late, and they kind of, the backs kind of ran into each other there. It's going to bring up second and 11 for the Bearcats. Ball spotted on their own 41-yard line. Levens takes a snap, drops back, looking to throw. Fun, there we go. Way to hold on to it there. Yes, sir. Glad to see Miguel out there today. I thought he was going to be out with an ankle injury yeah, that he, he uh, suffered he, last week. Yeah, but he, 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 he take up. I think he's just fine. He's bouncing around over here on the sideline for sure. Levens has beaten to his right. Kenny Cody to his left. Hessler's up top. There's a snap. Uh oh. Takes the handoff. Levens trying to uh -oh. fight. Trying to fight. Trying to fight. Way to hold on to the ball. They were ripping. Very good job holding on to the ball. Bearcats up to the sideline for the play. Johnson relays it in. Hessler's going to the top. Nick Mills in the slot down here with Bryson Washington. Plays deep to his right. Hessler fly here. Back. Keep going. There we go. There we go. Take off, buddy. Go. Oh. So close. So close. Get off of him. Come on, hike the ball. Uh-oh. That's a... I would. I'd rely on your defense. Wide open. Beautiful. I believe that was the same play back to back. Yeah. You know, 
Deaton broke a few tackles, and that's all it took. I mean, he had about a 50-yard run right there. Exactly right. What are you looking for on defense tonight? Zachary? Yeah. Yeah, our secondary is definitely going to have to pretty much do exact opposite as last week. Yeah, they, uh, they gave up four, I believe it was four touchdowns of over 50 yards through the air. That's just not, that's how I'm going to get it done most nights. It's really, you know, it's pretty hard to play football whenever you've got, uh, whenever the other team's scoring on just one shot play. If the Bearcats can limit that, they're going to have a lot of, they're going to be able to help their chances out a lot here tonight on uh, senior night. Pretty packed house here, Jay. Yeah. Yep, looks like we sold it out again. Yeah. Uh, looks like number seven, yeah. Morgan, the receiver, they're not going to get a break on these tall receivers this week. No. Just picking up where they left off last week. Yeah, he's pretty tall, and they like to go to him just about as much as they like to go to anybody. Bryson Washington with the kick deep. Fair catch. Fair catch. Sorry, making sure the tunnel cat got to where he was supposed yeah. to go. Oh, sorry.
Number 13, Tippy, stopped for no game. There is a flag on the play. Stopped there by number 10, Campbell, number 52, Aiden Hugot. There is a flag. Test, test, test. <laughs> test, 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 test. Test, 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 test. Alright. Let's try this out now. I'm getting reverb though. Is that off your phone? Yeah. Here we go. First play. All right, Bearcats had a little run right there. Up the middle, it picked up about four. Let's see what we got going on here. Game audio off. Okay. Test, 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 test. Levins, left side, looking for some space. He's still fighting through, still fighting through. And he's gonna get just about a first down. Maybe our audio is good now, if somebody will let us know. First play. You hear me now, Jake? Hear me better, Jake? No. Still nothing. It's okay. We don't need to hear each other. Blevins has Deaton to his left. Takes a snap, handoff Deaton. Deaton looking for some space, runs up the middle. And he's going to get about one, two, three, four yards there. So it's going to be second and six for the Bearcats in their own territory here. Trying to move down the field again. I think we're. Sorry about that, yeah, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. We're yeah. trying to figure out the audio. We're working through all of our problems, one day at a time. Long goal or uh, Ross and Washington field goal is good. So, with 2:17 remaining in the first quarter, your score, Henrietta, 14. Millsap, zero. Let's get a word from our sponsors here. Bridgeport. Bird, Jim Ned and Holiday are tight. 
versus the Millsap Bulldogs football game with Zach Byers and Jake Rock. 817484 or come by for a visit and find out how we can help you with all your real estate and liquidation needs. Our focus has been and will continue to be integrity and client service. Yeah, battery for uh, 
The Gonzenbach family proudly supports the Henrietta Bearcats and the Henrietta Ladycats. Let's go, Bearcats. Hey, football fans. Fans from. We're back live. Fourth down. Punt coming on. Fourth Millsap Bulldog. Entirely, that work, mm -hmm. or is that going to kill us? <laughs> what a swing for the Bearcats here! That's way better. Way better. Got us good. Mm -hmm. better. All right. So score. Pending this extra point, Bearcats up 20 to nothing right now. Snap. Oh, kick is up, and it is good. So, Bearcats continuing their first quarter surge here. Now lead 21 to nothing. Jake, the Bearcats are just kind of putting it on right now and Millsap's just having a really hard time right now getting the, getting the bleeding to stop for them. Yeah, yeah, I mean, he <clears throat> Essler almost got the one earlier. Yeah. And uh, that one, he's, he was just quick enough to get through there and blocked it, and it took the perfect bounce. He caught it and took off, and you're not catching him. No, he uh, he's pretty quick himself. And the big thing to me is that, you know, the Bearcats are doing exactly what you want to do. You know, if the other team's, you know, kind of sputtering a little bit, you put your foot on the gas and you go. You never know You never know when it might slide over to your side of the field and it's, and it's not going so well for you on your end. You need as many points as you can quick. The Bearcats... Yeah. The Bearcats are looking really tuned up this week, though. Yeah, they, they look really good. 21-0 lead right now here in the first quarter. Bryson Washington on the kick. Kick is up. And received by 18, that's Jennings. He's looking for some space. And he's not going to find much. He's going to get out to just about the 25-yard line. He might have got a little more than that. We'll see. All right. Jake, what are you seeing out of this defense so far tonight? We're tackling a lot better than we did last week in they the first are, half. They are definitely tackling a lot better. They might have uh, practiced that a little yeah, bit this yeah. week. I think they might have. <laughs> Broussard and the, the defensive staff might have seen that and said, all right, we'll know more of that. Yeah. What happened, to our, what happened to our camera? What camera? Ours. Uh, I can get that back. Let's see here. Let's go. We were. I believe this is us. Hmm. Yep. Oh, wow. There we are. That's huge. It's way too big. Yeah, way too big. There we go. Beautiful. Perfect. <laughs> Give the people what they want. Yep. All right. First or second down and five here for the Bulldogs. Tippy comes out here in the slot, so they're going to go back to that Wildcat set. Re or Green is going to take the snap. There's a the snap. And he's going to keep it himself. Breaks off to the right side. He's fighting for some yards. It's pretty tough to bring down, Jay. Yeah. And that's going to take us to the end of the first quarter. Your score, Henrietta 21, Millsap 0. We'll take a little look from our sponsors here, and we will be back with you all shortly.
There's the snap. Kai is trying to find some space here. That's Kai Hanog. He's trying to find some space there and just can't find much, Jake. No, we're gang tackling, but just could never get him down. Second and 12 here. Ball spotted on Millsap's own 37 yard line. Bearcats are doing a pretty nice job of keeping Millsap in, you know, second and long, third and long scenarios and forcing them to, you know, and putting them in pass, and pass situations. Makes your job as a corner and safety a lot easier. A little shuttle pass underneath. He finds number three, but oh. he doesn't get much there. They're going to roll him down. Yeah. The ball did come out. They did. They're going to roll him down. That was number three.
Test, 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 <sighs> On to kick here. Such a stress prison. This is a very big stress prison. It'd be really nice if the All Sports Club would just give us just elite equipment, wouldn't it? Yeah. All right, Nick Mills. He's gonna try his do some damage here. He gets Ooh. to the left side. Checks Whoa. another guy. He's got a little space oh. before he's knocked out of bounds, just short of the 30-yard line here. Oh. Is going to be spotted. 23. You got 29 yard line, 28. <laughs> yep, go ahead, boss. Let's see if the Bearcat offense can go three for three on their offensive possessions for touchdowns. Well, Evans drops back. Deep ball. Looking for Cody McMillian. Incomplete. Nice little play right there, Jake. Try, yeah. the, deep, try the deep ball. Just got to keep running the route. Yep. Trust the quarterback. He'll put it, yep. put it where it's supposed to go. Yep. Uh, I completely agree. All right, second down now. Nick Mills in the slot. Bryson Washington up top over him. Klein Nestor to the bottom of the screen. Blevins takes the handoff. Now he's going to keep it himself. There we and go. He's got off to the right side. He's got some space. He's, he's dangerous when he does it. Across the 50 to the 45. Keeps going inside the 35. That was great. I know. Kind of getting this figured out a little bit as we go. You guys still? Oh, yeah. So, that's the bottom of the screen. Glevin's up top. Or, Glevin's the quarterback. Takes the hand off the knee. Look. He's got. Oh! Great catch. And there's a flag. Mm. Not ideal. No, especially when he says something to one of the Henry Edda linemen. And the Henry Edda guys are giving you every indication that it's coming back the other way.
almost could choke off because, yeah. Yeah, I mean, that was a pretty quick pass. That's a pretty quick pass to get that one called. All right. So the Bearcats got a backup. Ball's going to be spotted now. It doesn't stop the attack to show it, I don't guess. It's a Hand off to Eaton. Looking for some space. He's got it to the outside. Go, go, go. Oh, gosh. If they hit that corner, they're dangerous. Yeah. Eaton, that was almost number two tonight if he wouldn't have got caught right down there. About the five. Yeah, Just a and little too that, that would have been, uh, that might have been on ESPN next week on You Got Mossed. Maybe. No, six, seven, it's hard to tell up here. I think six. Longoria and McNeen go to the top of the screen. And Cody is right there off the right tackle. And for Case Brown. Evans drops back. <laughs> running towards it. I thought he threw it and saw it get batted down. He took off sprinting to save himself from his first interception of the year. We're going to go full court? I think this is what it looks like. It looks like Rossi and Miguel are headed out there. from a long way. So he's booted back. He's got the wind behind him, but yeah. Located at 102 South Archer Street here in Henrietta. We see patients of all ages and are currently accepting new patients. Dr. Guerrero fell in love with our small town and family traditions. Let's beat them, Bearcats! Family owned and operated for three generations, Wimsco has been buying, repairing, remanufacturing, and selling electric motors and new controllers for close to 39 years. Located at 206 Central Avenue in Petrolia, Wimsco is open Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Wimsco can service both personal and business accounts. You can stop by the shop or call 940-524-3363.
Taking with it there. Very good job by the Bearcats. And on the return for Millsap is Brandon Savage. Millsap is taking no one to him. Is he take two or is it? What? It is just one. Oh my god, they can't hear us again. 6.22 remaining. I can hear us. I can hear us. Yeah. So. I don't know what it is. Every time you go to something else, it messes it all up. It messes yeah. up? Stay here. So we were back. We're back right there. Okay, I'm leaving it alone then. Yeah, we're back there. Okay. So. 
So, Bearcats punt the ball there, and they're going to force the ball in deep territory. Nice punt by Caden Clark. Good job by the Bearcat punt team to get that thing down. Let's see if we can get this Bearcat. Let's see if this Bearcat defense can keep it up. Four minutes and 12 seconds remaining here in the first half. Your score, as you can see, 24 to 6. Bearcats on top. Millsap handoff to Green, and he gets back to the line of scrimmage, and then he's pretty much stopped right there. Great play right there. Let's see if we can pick up who that is making that tackle. It's 26, the Bearcats. 28. No, 22. Gage McDonald, maybe? No. That's 20. That's got to be 26. 26? I feel like that's 26. 28. That's 28. Johnny Applegate. How about that? Great play by Applegate right there. Tippy. He's going to have Green to his left. Man in motion. Tippy takes a snap. Drops back. It's going to be a little reverse kind of play to. That's number six, actually. That's Ty Hannig. Is that, what, is that right? Hannig. Yeah. That's what we're going with. So, third and nine. Once again, the Bearcats' defense has forced a third and long for Millsap. And they've had some pretty good success. Looks like some Bulldogs might go trips here. They have one solo receiver down here at the bottom. That's number four, Chase Riggs. Tippy takes a snap, drops back. It's a little screen. Oh, there was. Oh, if you hang on to tackling. Oh. Big play right there by Millsap. Number 15, Luke Alexander. You had he yep. had him. He had him stuffed. That is beautiful. Yep. Did a great job. He had him stuffed. So now. First and ten for Millsap, just right there. Play action roll out right there. He's gonna dump the ball down to number three, and he's off to the races. Picks up a first down. Well, really easy. Tackles. Yeah, they really are. The Bearcats defense is uh, they're going back to kind of the team, the defense that we saw them be last week against Winthorpe. Tackles aren't really mounting very much right now. Guys are slipping through for Millsap. Got to make sure they break down and get these get these guys wrapped up behind the wrapped up on the first run at them. Can't be having these broken tackles. Trips to the bottom side, one receiver to the far side. Tippy has one back to his left. Drops back. It's gonna be a little quick screen out to the outside. Trying to find some Make space. Nick Mills over there. Nice job, Nick. Good job. Alexander, way to get out there too. Yeah, very good job by the Bearcat defense to rally to the ball. So now, second and seven. Ball spotted on Millsap's own 39 yard line, 155 remaining here in the first half. Bearcats lead 24 to 6. Tippy drops back, finds Kai Honig. Get it. Oh, there you go, Essler. Yeah, Essler, nice. Essler with a nice tackle out there to the outside. And Jace Riggs down on the play. Yeah. It looks like Hanog, number six for Millsap, might be a little shaken up too from that hit by Essler. Yeah, Essler gave him a pretty good little shot. Let's go to commercials, Jake, while they tend to this kid. Mark 10 45 says Jesus came to serve and not be served. I'm Penny Reardon, realtor with Anchored Realty. Please give me a call and let me serve you on your next transaction. 940-733-7445. Go Bearcats! Reg and Chapel Deaton Consulting Inc. Postal Family Credit Union celebrating 90 years of service. 
Financial investments are very important, but so are the investments of time, patience, and encouragement our young athletes receive from their coaches, teachers, and mentors. That's why Edward Jones is a proud sponsor of Henrietta Bearcat Football on Texoma Broadcasting. Contact your local Edward Jones financial advisor for your investment needs. Financial advisors Carrie Williams, Lee Gunter, and Brad Yurko are proud sponsors of Henrietta Athletics. Visit at edwardjones.com or connect with us on Facebook. Edward Jones, making sense of investing. Member SIPC. This We're back live here at Bearcat Stadium. Hope all goes well for the injured player for Millsap. First and ten, though, for Millsap here. Ball's going to be spotted on Millsap's own 49 and a half yard line. I just still don't see number seven. He had to switch numbers. Yeah, I guess he, he has did. to be that number three guy. Yeah. No, but they have a number three. 13. Drops back. That's Tippy. Gets it out to his uh, outside receiver. And that's number three that he's intending that for Nixon Balloon. He's probably pretty happy he didn't catch that because yeah. he, he was about to get tatted on them ribs. Mm -hmm. Screen is blocking out in front of him. Didn't help him very much. I'm thinking it's 16. Is who he? Is who that is? Well, maybe. I don't know. I'm kind of confused too. I've been, I'm wondering, Jake, if that's if that wasn't him that was over there on the sideline. He might that's be hurt. Five. No, but there was a kid in the cutoff jersey He's behind the coaching staff over here. You see him? Uh, I pretty see tall kid. Yep. I wonder if that's not him. It's possible. And he doesn't have a jersey on, so we can't really tell. I think if he was their best receiver, he'd at least have a jersey. Uh, 13, Tippy's off and moving. He slides down. Oh, that's not ideal. I kind of thought that might get a little late. Yeah, me too. But it doesn't. 120 remaining on the clock. Clock's moving. It's third down and short here. Millsap's trying to go hurry here. Tippy takes a snap, drops back, fires it out to number 11. Who is trying to get back, trying to get the first down. I think he's going to be just a little bit short, Jake. So that clock's going to keep moving down. Tick, tick, ticking away here. Got to call timeout. Millsap's got to timeout. Yeah, there, yep. go. there it is. Yep. Millsap timeout. Jake, 55 seconds left here. Scores 24 6. What are you looking for out of this Bearcat defense? Not another yard. Not another yard. Sending full sink here on fourth and short. See if you can get the ball back. Three, three timeouts, 55 seconds in a high school game is a lot of time. That clock stops on the cha when you check reset change, everything like that. And the way the Bearcat offense has moved and has shown. They can be explosive enough to put some more points on the board. Yes, sir. for sure. Yeah, I'm shooting that so you're right up, right up the gap. Yep, I'm kind of with you there. I could, I could buy into that. They are going to a little bit heavier set. 52. Aiden Fugit, 72. Sonny Burke are headed out there. 22. Gage McDonald, Cannon Cody. They're going to go to a four-man front. It looks like, and they showed that uh, if they're going to get in, what I think they're going to be in. Yeah, they're going to go with the number 11 here. Trip Moore, 6'5", 215. They're going to go quarterback sneak with him. Oh. Yeah, and that's pretty easy to do. Yeah. That, one's, that one's pretty easy. They also, Jake, they get into the Maryland eye a little bit. They'll go three, they'll go like a three-back set right behind the quarterback, and the quarterback's right underneath, and they'll run quarterback sneak out of that, and they'll run some other stuff too. It's just interesting to see it, though. It's pretty old school. Yeah. Tippy. Has three receivers to this far side, or this near side, one receiver to the far side. Back to his right. 
drops back. He rolls out to his right. Looking for a man. Still oh. finding looking for a man. He's just gonna throw it. He's it and he's Oh my goodness. Oh, oh no. no. Oh no. Oh yes. Oh, the oh. ball comes out. Oh <laughs> man, there's a lot of chaos right there. What a weird play. A lot of chaos right there. This is what Tippy does best though. Whenever the you know, whenever it's time to unscram or scramble around and find somebody, that's what this offense really showed that they could do really well last week. He's always looking downfield for his guys, and he trusts them. Tippy drops back, looking for a man. Still looking for a man. Still looking for a man. And he's just going to run. Oh. And out of bounds, short probably. Yeah. He's going to be just short. 12 seconds on the clock. Going to be spotted two-yard line, Jake. Yeah. Yeah, about the two. Left hash, two-yard line, 12 seconds. Millsap does have a timeout remaining. Bearcats got to tighten up here. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure who that was, but, man, they had, they had, they had, had two guys really close in fast right there uh, <coughs> and stopped him from getting to the goal line. I thought, he, I thought it was an easy touchdown for him. Mm -hmm. Case Brown comes on. They're going to get real heavy here on this defensive line front, it looks like. Uh-oh. Yep. Pitch to the outside, got to get him, nope, he sneaks in, Green sneaks in there, that's going to be another touchdown for Millsap, seven seconds remaining on the clock, boy Jake, those two play, those, the two plays prior to that touchdown run in right there, those were, those were, uh, those were huge for Millsap right there, and they were, they just back breaking for the Bearcat defense on that little drive. So, extra point try coming on. And they might be going for two here, Jay. Go yeah. What does the chart, what does the chart say here? If They're down by go for two, it's a ten point game. Yep. Down by twelve. Go for two. <coughs> Where was that chart last week? In our in our box. Hopefully you make copies <laughs> for the coaching staff this week. Well, keep a 12-point lead. Well, it still says go for two. So, timeout by the Bearcats there. We'll stay right here. Live. Bearcats going to go to halftime here. I don't know about you, but one of them old hot dogs from the concession stand is sounding pretty good right now. It's always glizzy time. All right, let's see what this Bearcat defense wants to do here. Let's see what Millsap's offense brings to the table. Got to think they've got something dialed up ready for this. Have showed that they kind of want to go power here. So let's see here. They've got one receiver coming to this far side or this near side. They've got one set up at the far side. They've got another receiver with him. So they've got nobody's on number three. Yep, they've got 11 man personnel nobody's here. Nobody's on number three. Nobody's on three. Nobody's on yep, they got to walk go. somebody out there. Yep. Uh, if he can get there, nope. And and complete. All right, so it doesn't work. Good job. So with so the Bearcats with 12 or with seven seconds remaining, the Bearcats are going to hold on to their lead of 12 points. Your score, Millsap, 12, Bearcats. 24. Let's see if that helps us out, Jake. I've been cutting and doing our little preview editor. Oh, boy. We still got time. Seven seconds remaining. Return. 
Nick Mills, Bryson Washington, Cody McMillian, nothing crazy. Same guys that they started out last week. Bryson Washington did have a big 89 yard. Found out later on they stat said 89 yarder. Wow. Did not give him the 90. Kind of want to go back and look at that and make sure his foot wasn't kind of touching the 10-yard line. I mean, you got to give it to him if it's just kind of touching it, right? Either way, it was a great yeah, run. It was an excellent return. Really changed the, the momentum there, there for the Bearcats. Put them put them ahead, actually, and kind of shocked Winthors. No set kicker, 58. Grant Camarillo. Just what a kicking boot. away. Really good boot. Wow. That's going to go into the end zone for a touchback. Seven seconds remaining. Wow. Jake, Jake, I don't think the Bearcat offense is going to get crazy. I think they'll probably just knee this thing and go to halftime. No. Throw it up. You think they're going to throw it up to Klein? Throw give it him up to Give him a chance? I'm not opposed to it. I'm just giving my thoughts on it. Just take your 12-point lead. Go to halftime. Bearcats do line up in their normal offensive set here. Clevin takes a snap. They're going to run a play here. Out to Bryson Washington on a little screen. See if he can break something here. Ooh. And gets met by number 72. Dalton Golden. And that's how we're going to go to halftime here from Bearcat Stadium. You're listening to Texoma Broadcasting by way of YouTube. We're going to Listen to the band for a little bit. Millsaps band's going to go. Then the Henrietta band will go. When we come back, we'll talk a little bit of football. Might even get in a little bit of fantasy football for some of our fans here tonight. Thanks for tuning in. Well, hopefully our audio issues kind of correct themselves. Thanks again for tuning in.
Test one, two, test one, two. Test one, two, test one, two. Test one, two, test one, two. Test, 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 test,
So, first half once again with the Bearcats. They came out to play. Uh-huh. Millsap. I wouldn't say Millsap is as good as I was expecting. Uh, <clears throat> but Henrietta is doing everything that they need to do that they weren't doing last week. Right. Uh, <clears throat> we just found out right before the half uh, that Millsap's best player, <clears throat> Darren Morgan, yeah. uh, senior, broke his ankle last week, mm -hmm. and he was uh, their leading receiver. He had over 100 yards. I yeah, and, uh, and I think if I remember the stat line right, he had four catches for 100 and, yeah. 100 and something and uh, one touchdown. Yeah, and he, he was uh, their player, so. Yeah. Uh, but it's football that happens. Yeah. You got to just mm -hmm. adapt. But I agree. I agree. Uh, you know, it's tackling good. That's something that they weren't doing. Yeah. And uh, they're doing it pretty good tonight. So. Uh, completely agree. 24 to 12. They need to build on that lead. Yep. Uh, and keep putting the keep putting the accelerator on. Really, you know, Seth, They've only had about two or three plays, I would say, that it really drove them down the field. Right. And uh, and one was a muff punt on us, yes. and they got them to the five, and that's how they got their first touchdown. So. Yep. Uh, um, besides that, you know, playing a really good, really sound football game and uh, something that they can look, <laughs> look back on and uh, build for for next week. Yep, for sure, for sure. Because I'm going to say Bowie's probably a little bit better. They're not bad. They, uh, you know, first-year coaching staff over there. Uh, I'm pretty familiar with one of the coaches, uh, Sarah's brother, Jason, <laughs> or all of his brother, Jason. He just <laughs> – Well, OD, he's pretty familiar with yeah. trying to guard me. I was about to say, Tyler, yeah. Tyler Price, yeah. Tyler, uh, you should check in on here, and uh, if you're listening, <laughs> you might want to go pick your ankles back up on the 12-yard line, buddy. <laughs> Him and uh, they, during the KF, or with the KFDX preview of Bowie, they had a lot of highlight film of uh, they had a lot, a lot of highlight film of both of them. Uh, so big, big first half for the Bearcats right there. Now. Going forward, just like what Jake was talking about, got to continue to tackle. Uh, you know, still, you know, Millsap is still slipping tackles here and there. Uh, but you know, the Bearcats can get that get that issue fixed. Uh, you know, that last little drive, they had some improv stuff. If the Bearcat defense can hold up on some of that improv, uh, they're going to come out pretty successful, I think, here tonight. The offense has been moving it pretty good uh, for the most part of the night. You know, two. Two, uh, two touchdown drives in a row, and then they get another, uh, then they get the block punt for a touchdown by Essler, which were huge. So, and Jake, gonna take a little trip tomorrow. For all you fantasy football fans out there, gonna take a little trip over for a fantasy football draft that we're both in the league in with a bunch of our friends from high school. And, gonna let Jake give his thoughts on this first round mock that was given to me by one of the guys. Thank you. So, Jake. Yes, sir. Here's how this draft goes tomorrow, according to one Ryan Riggins. All state Ryan Riggins. Hunter Colbert is going to take, he's got the number one overall pick. He's going to take running back Bijan Robinson. No, he won't. Jacob Herring is going to take Justin Jefferson. Ryan is going to take Jamar Chase from the Bengals. Boer is going to take Christian McCaffrey. Tyler Himes is going to take Travis Kelsey. Here's where it gets wild for me. Bowles is going to take wide receiver Cooper Cup. Now, before yesterday's news of him re-aggravating that hamstring injury, I'd probably buy in. I just don't know if that one's going to be the pick, though, right there. Yeah. At number seven... Crumpton is going to take running back Austin Eckler. Number eight, Tanner Crenshaw is going to take Tyreek Hill. Ben Sauer is going to take Tony Pollard at the number nine. I, myself, am going to take Stephon Diggs. Jake, he's got you taking running back Nick Chubb. Who does? Ryan does. Okay. <laughs> Not buying it? No. Not doing that at all. 
Don't Nick Chubb. And, you, and Ryan's not picking Jamar Chase. He's gonna. He acts like all of our friends that are drafting is going to listen to this and he's throwing them for a loop. <laughs> <laughs> if Stephon Diggs is available and Justin Jefferson isn't, he's going Diggs. They don't call him the little finger of the R League for nothing. And Nate is going to take Saquon Barkley to finish out the first round. Whenever he sent it to me, Jake, I kind of had the same thought. I don't know how much. I think he's just blowing smoke here. I think he, I think he might be blowing smoke that he is doing and wants Jamar Chase there. I don't know if he's going to get him, though. No. Hunter says he's taking Bijan, though. And Hunter's been on that one for a while. I don't know, though. I think Bijan's floor, though, is six, though, with Crumpton. Or uh, seven with Crumpton. Yeah. Crumpton will not let UT great Bijan Robinson get by him. Now, back to Henrietta football, though, tonight. What we're here for, what all the fans are here for. Bearcats received to open up the ball game, so they will kick here. Jake, any thought on the potential of what we did last week and what we did in the Comanche game in by district last year as well? A little pooch kick up, maybe see if Nick Mills can get down there, or you think we're kicking, you know, really, kicking deep here? I really don't like that here. You got a you got a pretty stiff wind at your back right now. No. I mean, it feels great up here. It really does feel pretty good outside right now. All these Bearcat fans are enjoying a little cool down. It's definitely not like it was last week. Washington on to kick. Back deep to return. I believe it's 12 and 18 for Millsap. There's a little pooch kick up and... See, and that's why I don't like that. Yeah. The wind's too stout right now. Right. But, I mean, you'd have to kick it absolutely perfect to get to be able to get there. Mm -hmm. To me, just boot it. Yeah. Your defense is playing good, besides a couple of plays here and there, but you have a 12-point lead, just boot it down there and try to, yeah, I mean, at least the, what's the worst that can happen to get it to 25? Yeah, I'm with you. So, Millsap comes on for their first offensive series of the second half here. Edit this real quick. Sap comes out. They've got one tight end. They've got a back behind the left tackle as well. They've got two receivers to the far side. Three receivers to the far side. One this near side here. Back to Tinny's left. Tippy. Tippy. Sorry. Tippy's left. Takes a snap. Hand off green. Looking for some space. Gonna be wrapped up by Klein Esler pretty quick there. Still gained about a yard or two, I think. He had a little stutter step in the hole there. He did. He was. He got to the. He got to where the hole was supposed to be at, and he paused and said, "Well, it ain't there. I got to find something else now." And climb was over. Or climb wrapped him up pretty quick after that one. Trips set to this bottom side. One or two receivers to the far side. So an empty set here. Tippy takes a snap. Gets it out, and big Beautiful. hit right there. Great play by the safety. Bryson Washington coming downhill right there. Great job. That's how you play downhill safety right there, Jake, on those screens. Find your way through the blockers and make an impact. Yeah. Three receivers to the far side, one to this near side, one back to Tippy's left. Takes a snap, drops back, looking for some man. He's going to slide down. He's going to be short of the first down marker. Whenever he wants to run, Jake, like, I, like we were talking about earlier in pregame and during the first half, whenever he wants to improv, he's pretty good at it. He's always looking downfield for his receivers. He wants them to take off and run. He wants if they've got to break off their route and go do something different. He's got he's got pretty good chemistry with them. He kind of knows exactly what they've got what, or what they're wanting to do. And these receivers know exactly what he's wanting out of them. Yeah, as well. Yeah, he's he's pretty good. If I'm not mistaken, he's got one more year. Yeah, I think he's a junior. Snap, handoff green, looking offside, or looking off. Oh, can they get him stopped? Nope, I think no, he got it. 
he drove his words just now. Yeah. Bearcats made an impact, but it's not going to be good enough to get a fourth down stop. Big fourth down play right there for Millsap. So ball's going to be spotted. Millsap's on 45 yard line. Ten minutes remaining here in the third quarter. Just now getting underway pretty much. Tippy under center has green as his back. A little, little shift here. Snap. A roll out here looking for a man. Oh, he's got, oh, he's two. got two wide open. Oh, my God. Oh, he just, oh, he's just short on that throw. He had two receivers running, and he had Bryson Washington as, and Henrietta had Bryson Washington as the only defender there. A little confusion right there, it seems like, for the Bearcat secondary on that one. Number 11, Trip Moore. And number two, Connor Penry with the two receivers running wide open. Double set with the out of the pistol here. Snap. And, uh oh, number eight, Green's off to the races. He's at the 30. Tackled down, or tackled by... Who is that over there? Number six? Five. Five? That's Blevins. Yeah. Touchdown saving tackle by Blevins right there on that one. No saps offense on the move here. Seems like they came out of halftime with a little more juice. Yeah, they got a little more juice. Might help their head coach on the sidelines now. Avoiding the heat here in the first, or avoiding the heat in the first half. Doubles, set, tippy, trying to find some space, and he's not going to find it. Canning Cody back there to make the stop. Great play, Canning Cody. Tippy has Kai Honig to his left. Tippy drops back. Will screen middle of the in middle of the field here. Screen. Got to find him. Get him wrapped up. Most of going to these screens pretty heavy, Jay. Yeah, and they're using all sides of the field to do it too. Yeah. So third down and about four. Well, third down and about five or six actually here. Yeah, he's pretty good at selling it. Yeah, they do a really good job. Whole offense, pretty well, pretty well designed. I wonder if Tippy's what CR stands for. I don't know. The cooler if it's CCR, Tippy. Man, what would be? Tippy. Drops back. Nope. Hand off underneath. And that goes nowhere. Oh, oh well, I saw, thought it did. went nowhere. The Bearcats Man. do a pretty nice job. Got to let him go, guys. No. Yep. Pretty good job by the Bearcat defense to sniff that one out. First guy couldn't get him down. Yeah. The rest of the Bearcat offense, or the rest, of the rest of the Bearcat defense had to rally to get there. So another big fourth down here for Millsap. And they look like they're going to go for it. Got to watch for them to try to make a jump. It still wouldn't give you a first down, but it'd give them a lot shorter yardage. Tippy, man in motion here. Takes a snap, drops back, looking for a man. He's got a man wide open down the field. Oh, man. Uh -oh. Come on, brother. There you go. Yep. Yep. First and goal. Man. Mm. Two and and that receiver just that guy, yeah, he, he had one just wide open yeah. crossing the goal line there. Yep. And now Millsap. Good touchdown saving tackle by Blevins though. Yes, it was. So Millsap. Let's go. This play call in. They trail by 12. Underneath set. Going to try to push their way in. Bully ball their way in here. Was that Reggie and Ronnie? 
Yeah, could be. Fight. Fight. <laughs> Fight. <laughs> Fight. Who you got tomorrow, Bars? Texas or Rice? Texas. Texas. So, Millsap punches it in right there. Touchdown for them. So they trail now by six. Should be going for one here. We'll see, though. They did miss an extra point earlier in the ballgame. And it looks like they're going to go for two. They're going to go out to their little... Wildcat set here. Green is going to be the snap or going to get receive the snap. He's going to run off the right side and he gets in. That's good. And the lag on the play though. Isn't that a little early, Jake? No, nope, holding. Holding against Millsap is the call. That's going to back them up. Let's see what they want to do this time, Jake. Probably off the two right here, right? And just probably up to a guy. Yeah. Number 11 seems like a pretty prime candidate. You know, he's coming off field now. Mm. Looks like they're going to go with a little bit of a smaller set of receivers. So. Two point try is going to come from the 13 yard line. Tippy back, looking deep, looking deep, still looking deep, lobs it up. Nope, takes off and runs. And the two point try is no good. So your score here with 6.36 remaining in the third quarter Henrietta Bearcats, 24. Millsap. 18. We'll go to our sponsors and we'll be right back. Texas, home of the Henrietta or at Bearcat Stadium, home of the Henrietta Bearcats. <laughs> Hamilton just, or not Hamilton, sorry, Millsap just scored. They now trail the Bearcats by six. 6.36 remaining here in the third quarter. 58 is Grant Camarillo. He's going to kick off here. Back deep to return for the Bearcats is going to be number nine, Nick Mills, number 18, Bryson Washington, and number zero, Cody McMillian. And Rio. There's the kick. He had a touchback earlier. I wonder if he can do it again. Nope, Bryson Washington is going to field this one. Come on, had a return bro. last week. If he can get some space, he's got a chance. Uh, got a little bit of a space. Good return, Jake. Yep. Probably going to be spotted about the 39 or 38 yard line of Henrietta. So, here comes the first offensive drive for the Bearcats, Jake. First half, what did you see? What do you want to see repeated here in the second half? I think they're doing good. You know, they they pretty much are pretty balanced right now. I mean, Deaton, he's doing great. Really, we're, we haven't had to use Blevins at all in the run game. No. Right. I mean, I think he had one nice little run earlier. Yep. but he got a pass. Oh, I bet it was about a 30 or 40-yard yeah. run then. Besides Maybe? that, he's, he's had a pretty easy night. Yeah. Yeah, he really has on the ground for sure. 
Uh-oh. I didn't see what happened over there. Uh, I think wonder if that's a cramp. Yeah. Yeah. Looks like it. Just got a text. And Electra is beating Memphis 53-12. to If anybody's an Electra fan here. No, Crenshaw is. Yeah. If Crenshaw's listening. Seven and a half over under. What's the Texas Aggies doing this year? Wins seven and a half. That's what it's set at. Uh, I think I did see that earlier, actually. Um, I think I gotta take the over. They're returning the most starters in the SEC. I took the over. Yeah, I, they've got the um, most starters coming back in the SEC. They were really young last year. Um, all indications are that the offense is going to. You know, he's been moving the ball really well. Wegman's going to be the starter from day one, so that should be good. Uh, kind of curious to see Petrino and Jimbo's relationship on the sidelines. They can talk in the press conferences all they want to about how, you know, Petrino was talking about how, you know, Jimbo's his boss. He's got to respect him. We'll see how that relationship goes. As Bryson Washington catches this one to the outside, and he's tackled a little late. That our sideline judge says, no, nothing there, though. Just playing football. So, big catch right there from Blevins to Bryson Washington. Bryson Washington getting pretty heavily involved tonight, too, Jay. Yeah. Not taking some pressure off of Klein. You know, Klein had that one big catch earlier, but he's... He might be tired still from the catch and the... Yeah. He was running yeah. 100 yard sprints earlier. Uh-huh. Three receivers this near side. Deaton is the back. Blevins. Hand off. Nope. Same play. Yep. Bryson Washington trying to find some room. He is pretty shifty out here on this outside, yeah. Jay. I think he fought just enough to get that first down. I do, too. The only problem with those kind of plays like that, though, when you're, you're trying to get around your one guy, there's usually a linebacker or a defensive lineman that's coming full speed at you, and you're just standing there. Yeah. <laughs> Move the chains. So, gotta love that. Three receivers to this near side. Blevin, or Deaton is the back next to Blevins. Essler's up top. Snap. Looking back. A little hitch route. There goes Essler. Cross the 40. Cross 35. 40. 20, 15, 10, 5. Put it on the far. Klein Essler on a little hitch route. Turns it in to about a 50 some odd yard touchdown. Wow. Yeah, that's easy money for Bevin is not. It doesn't get much easier, Jake, than hitting a five-yard hitch and that thing turning into about a 52-yard touchdown. Nope. What a play right there. So here comes Bryson Washington on the kick. Yeah, that's helping Blevins and his knee out tremendously tonight. Mm-hmm. Kick is up. It is good. So, your score with 6.05 remaining in the third quarter. Bearcats, 31. Millsap, 18. Let's get a word from our sponsors. Thank you to our sponsors. Yep, we're back live. I got Curtis, a, I got a Kozenbach, yeah, I got a Shane shank. Cody. I got a Shane right here though. that'll help us out. Yep, out right of here. Corby Baron Weldon Skid Sear. No, it's not Corby. It's Austin. Austin, sorry. Shane Cody, Momentum Independent Network. Adam Gonzenbach, 2G and X Tech Consoling. Kirby and Grain. We'll get some more here in a little bit. Bryson Washington is going to be on the kick, just like he's been all night. Number 12, back deep for them. Brandon Savage. 
And number 18 is Graydon Jennings. Washington kicks up, and it's going to be fielded by Jennings here. Jennings looking for some space to this right side. Not going to find any, and he's going to get wrapped up by yeah. 12, 18? He got 12. Yeah, high low action there. 12. We, we don't know. We got to get an updated roster. To, I mean, this one's okay to give to opposing teams, but. Yeah, yeah, this back to back week. I got to do a better job of getting this roster. I'm going to get with my inside source. I'm going to get this thing ironed out. Evan looks good tonight. Does look good tonight. I mean, a lot of energy. Mm -hmm. Looking slim. Yep. Well, it's his side of the ball. It's on the field now. Yep. Pistol set. Snap. Hand off Hong. Oh, come on. And he's going to get wrapped up. He's fighting for yards. These running backs for uh, Millsap, they're pretty tough. Yes, they, they are. They don't go down. They run very They don't hard. go down super easy. They'll, they'll fight through. Sixth right there. We don't have him. That's Fugit. Six is? Yeah. Fugit is, Fugit is six. Who's 16? No idea. No. Oh, Jaden Clark. Yep. Pistol set again. Green. He's going to take the direct snap. Looking for some space. Here comes McGill, or here comes Bryson downfield, and there's the rest there of the Bearcat go. defense right there. Job, Led by Blevins, Cannon Cody's in there, Hunter Campbell. Oh, no. Got another one down. Uh-oh. Holding his knee. Yep, not good. Official timeout on the field. Let's go back to some of our sponsors. Penny Reardon at Anchored Realty, David Chaton over at Wimsco, Dr. Guerrero, Comcell, Scott Williams of Williams Realty and Auctions, Mickey G Auctions, Duck Creek Disposal, Postal Family Credit Union, Dairy Queen, Austin Jones, Skid Steer and Weldon, CRD Consulting, Edward Jones, Brad Yurko, DJ Dickey Insurance Agency. We just saw him just a minute ago down on the fence line. First Baptist Church Henrietta, OSTC, Southwest Automotive. Thank you, everybody, for y'all's generosity and support for the Henrietta Athletics Program. Stop kind of going run heavy here, Jake, aren't they? They've yeah. kind of kind of swapped it out here on this little drive anyway. But they do have Tippy back at quarterback. It looks like for a third and um, it's third and long. But you, I can understand if somebody wanted to call it third and medium. Tippy to get the snap. Takes a snap. Oh, ball's on the ground. No, ball's still rolling around. I don't know if Tippy got back on it. Yep, he got back on it. Blaze Deaton is right there, though, to cause some havoc. And here comes the punt team. 58 is going to be Grant Cam Camarillo. He kicks in punch for him. He's going to be back deep to punt here. And back feet to receive this thing. Bryson Washington is going to put his feet, or his back feet, on the Henrietta 41 yard line. Oh. Camarillo's punt, tie. And Washington just going to fair catch this thing. Fair catch offense is going to take over at the 34 yard line, or their own 34 yard line. Jake. About another big touchdown here. Yeah. 
Mid touchdown drive. Take some time off the clock. Or it could just be one big play. One way or another, it'd be nice to put some more points on the board for the Bearcats. More than anything, I think that they just need to take it, take it easy on Blevins. Yep. Yep. I mean, it, do yep. whatever we can to help preserve him. Yep. For sure. Heaton, Essler. Yep. Cannon Cody. Cannon's been a little quiet tonight. Let's see if we can get him involved. He had the one touchdown catch out there, but yep. Relatively quiet, not yeah. offensively. Deaton looking for some space. And he got about a yard, maybe, when it's all said and done here. Looking to the sideline. Bearcats looking to the sideline here. And Miguel Longoria, Cody McMillian down here at the bottom at receiver. Cannon Cody's going to line up behind Fugit at left tackle. Blevins has Jackson Fugit to his left. Cross back. Looking to throw. Now he's got McMillian. Deep. There we go. Great catch. Great catch. First down, Bearcat. Great job. Yeah, McMillian with him. Loved the way he got down there. Kept Stayed running that time. Yep. It was still a little underthrow, but he came back to it. Yep. High pointed the ball. Yep. You're exactly right. Your chance is great. Yep. Two res three receivers this near side. Esser to the top. Fugit the back. That is Fugit. Six is Fugit. Gotcha. Blevins. Takes a snap. Hand off. Fugit. Right side. If he can break a few. He's still fighting. Big run, nice little run right there by him. He breaks a couple of tackles and it's about a four or five yard gain on right there. So second down, about six. I think we're probably what a score and a stop away from maybe getting some other people in to maybe in a little. Maybe. We'll have to wind some clock down for sure. Yeah. Blevins, oh. out here to Miguel and in and out of his hands. Thirty-eight to eighteen would be three score. You're only nine away from a forty burger. Mm-hmm. That'd be nice. Fair enough. Blood Moon's coming out. This, this, got a good view of it. Clevens has Deaton to his right. Takes a snap. Ooh. Quarterback keeper. Uh, fourth down here. So. Looks like the offense will stay on here for the Bearcats. Timeout, Henrietta. It's their first. Still a big crowd here at Bearcat Stadium. People lined up all the way down the fence line. Stands are full. Yeah, tonight was senior night. They did it a little different this year. Yep. Happened this early in the year. Yep. So it didn't interfere with Coach K's run in the playoffs every year. Yep. Makes sense. Do you know how the volleyball team is doing this year? They're doing pretty good so far. They beat, uh, I know all three teams beat Winthorst the other day. They've got a scrimmage over in Winthorst tomorrow. Um, I think the Forsty girls play Old High 
to start off their tournament. And I think the JV has a bye in the first round and they catch the winner of Old High and Alney, possibly. I'm not sure. Don't hold me to that, but I did see some brackets earlier and look at them. They are having a good season. Yeah. Blevins has Deaton to his right. Three receivers to the far side. Essler to the bottom of the screen. Flag on the play. Essler underneath, and that's going to be a big catch and run. Ooh, over the top. Did the ball come out? I think it's a free play. I'm not sure what happened there. No. Free play. Offsides on the defense. Yep, free play. Oh. So, yeah, it's decline. That's a little shaken up. Uh -oh. that. Probably, got the, probably yeah. got the wind knocked out, even if I had to guess. I bet that did hurt. It always looks cool when you leave your feet, but I can't imagine it feels good whenever you come down. I can never jump that high. Blevins, looking for a man. No, he was looking for uh, Deaton there on the wheel route. Good defense played by Deaton there. Yeah, they saw that one from last week. I think that might have been the play that Henry had around last week anyway. Uh-oh, Deaton's down too, laying on the ground in the end zone over there. Jim, she, uh, she hasn't got notified yet. Yeah, it's cramp. Receivers ran it. He's, he's got some teammates over there going to try and help him, help him out. Levins has two two backs next to him here. Two receivers, one for the far side, one to this near side. And did he get in? Yep. Wow. That didn't look like it was going to go for much, but it ended up doing it. And I think that was Cannon Cody on that run, Jake. Was it? I think so. I think it was. Not 100% positive on that, but I think it was hand coding. Actually, you know what? No, I remember it now. That was Blevins. That's what I thought. Bo Bosch snap and Blevins carried it in. But I, I wasn't yeah. gonna. No, it, no you would have been. 100% right, had you corrected me. That's back to back weeks of me being wrong. Yeah, I said I've been wrong. For pretty much as long as I could do We've been together. Yeah, pretty much the only thing you did right was her. Yeah. I mean, just. <laughs> most of the time, people are your better half, but she's <laughs> like your better 99%. <laughs> I'm sure she's going to get a really good kick out of hearing that. 0.992. I don't care, by the way. We're leaving at 8.30 in the morning. <laughs> Russell Washington on the kick. That deep is going to be 18. That is. Number 16. Yep. Number 12, Savage. And that is number 18, Graydon Jennings. Savage and Jennings back to return. Washington on a kick here. 38 18. We'll fix the score here in just a second, folks. 121 remaining in the third quarter. Washington, big kick right here. That's going to be fielded by Jennings, or uh, sorry, not Jennings, Savage. Savage runs right up into the middle. 
Okay, Bearcats. Like I just said, 38. Millsap, 18. Bearcats just kind of got it all going their way tonight, Jake, so far. Yeah. They've, they've really kind of put the foot on the gas and uh, from the get-go here and just kind of kept driving and never really looked back. Yeah, what I alluded to a second ago, uh, Blevins not may be done. Shaden, uh, Shaden Clark, Clark. He down here warming up. Warming up down here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Blevins, he's even going to get in there and help. Uh, he's going <laughs> to help. He's going to. Going to help the other guy out. Ball's on the ground. Yeah. I think he got back on top of it, though. Yep, you're exactly right. Chayden's down here taking snaps. Nice throwing. Look at, I think he's throwing JV quarterback Pate Cody down here. Let's see, though. Yep, lefty. Hard to miss that kid. He kicks left footed, by the way. That's some. That's pretty different to see. And lined up for an extra point. Hard not to level lefty. Okay, you didn't have to go that far. Green on the direct snap. He's off to the right side. He's looking for some space. Wow. 21 and 2 on the tackle there. 21 being Colton Morris to obviously Klein Essler. Bryson had just a perfect, uh, perfect breakdown on there. Yeah. That guy, he just. He's pretty shifty. He's pretty good at running back. Yep. That was a lot of that. Yeah, I got some twos rolling in here now for the Bearcat defense. So I think you've got it. Just about right, Jake. Green on the carry. Looking for some space. He's going to be wrapped up by a host of Bearcats. I see Cody McMillian in there. And number six. Fugit. Fugit. Getting a little time in there. Sophomore. That's the end of the fourth. Or, sorry, not the fourth. The third quarter. Bearcats, 38. Millsap 18. Bearcats got it all going their way so far. We will get a word from our sponsors here in just a second. No, well, we're just not going to get a word from them, sorry. We're going to go straight to the sponsor sheet. Will you wrap them? Will I wrap them? Yeah. No, not happening. Wow. Momentum Independent Network, 2G and X Tech Consulting. Consulting. Curfee and Green, Anchored Realty. Wimsco, Dr. Guerrero, Comcell, Scott Williams Realty and Auctions, Mickey G Auctions, Duck Creed Disposal, Postal Family Credit Union, Dairy Queen, Austin Jones Wed Welding and Skid Steer, CRD Consulting, Brad Yurko over at Edward Jones, DJ Dickey Insurance Agency, First Baptist Church Henrietta, OSTC, Southwest Automotive. You didn't break them, did I? No. no. Yes, you did. No. I know I didn't. All right. As we break, huddle, head to the fourth quarter here. Bearcats kind of just cruising along here. Speaking of cruising, eighth grade football team went over to Nocona yesterday and uh, had a really good, they had a good, really good game against there. Eighth grade group, and then the JV Bearcats went down to Millsap last night, and they had a really good game as well. Oh, a little bit. Of pass. No, that wasn't TV. That was Green. Green's pass. Number three was the intended target there. That's Nixon Deloon. That's third down, and about one, two, three, four, five here. Maybe six. To be good. I don't know if they're doing that or if this is a, let's see what this offense looks like if we unfortunately lose him. Fourth down in about three-ish, maybe four. Got to think Millsap's going to just keep, going to roll, going to go for it here and keep rolling. The guys they got coming back is next year, Jake. Green's coming back. Uh, Tippy back. We got quite a few guys. Yeah, they'll be back next year. Graduating a few linemen. And 
Green Man. still on the move. He runs hard. He does run very hard. For being 5'8", 170. Yeah. He is a very hard runner. Uh-huh. Got good vision, too. Good cut a bit. Good cut ability. He, he runs side to side. Yeah. I think a little bit faster than he does north and south. <laughs> At this time, we'd like to introduce the cheerleaders for 2023. Co-captain, Caitlin Bryant. Green. Captain, Ryan Biggers. Lines up. Hong. Macy Hutchins. Oh, handoff underneath. Number three, second versus Space. And he keeps running. And he... Gets about an eight or nine yard carry right there, Jake. Yeah. Three is Nick Galoon. Another junior. Another one that's going to be back next year. I've got quite a few that are back. Snap off the right side, looking for some space. Cuts up field. Whoa. Rolls Wilder. his shoulder. Oh man, they're still pushing. Wow. A little team block right there by Millsap jumping in there and just powering their way through that thing. I don't know who that was that cool. came downhill. 21 Cold Morris, I think. <laughs> he thought he was going to run outside, and he got <laughs> right up. He, he found out all yeah. about what that green kid's bringing to the table. Green is tired, too. <laughs> I can imagine. He's had about 50 uh -huh. yards right here. Yeah. Green. Direct snap to him. He's going to hand off number six, Hong, trying to find his way through. He might have got it. Yep. Sideline judge over here says, yes, he did get it. So, touchdown, Millsap. 9.47 remaining here in the fourth quarter. 38-24. Millsap's going to trot out their extra point group, maybe? Or are they going to roll with it? I think they're rolling with it, Jake. 24-38. It's a 14-point game. Yep, numbers say. Of course, really, truly. You know, the scoreboard kind of has this game a little bit closer than what it really feels like. Bearcats just kind of been able to do whatever they wanted to offensively. Tippy finds his man, maybe? No, nope, nope. dropped, dropped it. He was <laughs> intended man. Was number 18, Graydon Jennings. Would not hold on to it, so the point after fails. Bulldogs 24 on the board now. I love how clean of a game we've had tonight. Really has been a lot cleaner tonight. I mean, a huge difference. Big, there is a very big difference between this Bearcat team this week and last week. Now, that's the, the big key. The two things that we needed to right. make sure that we fixed, and they, yep. they addressed both of them pretty well. The, uh, now the thing becomes, or now it becomes, can you do it again next week whenever you go on the road over to Bowie? Can you do the same? Can you do it again? How's Bowie's press box? Very good. Very nice. Very good, very good. B. AC? Yes, sir. Ooh. And you know what next uh, day is? S and S style. Uh, yep, Cowboys back. Cowboys are back. Cowboys are back. NFL's back next week. Full weekend of football next week. Yep. High school. Make sure, high high school. Ags. Yeah. Horns, yeah. horns yes. for you. Ags got a big one next week. So does Texas? Going to Tuscaloosa for Going to yet? Tuscaloosa. There you go. Ag, Ags are headed at the Coral Gables, Florida. I'm going to go play Miami. I don't even know if Miami University, I think Miami University is at Coral Gables. I don't even know if that's where they play at, though. Camarillo on the kick. Washington, McMillan, and Mills waiting for it. Here comes Bryson Washington. Out across the 30, looking for some Cut space up. still. Cut up some more. Yep, good job. 
Got across 35. I'll tell you a big difference, Jake, between this year and last year. You can look at those stats from last year. We did not have much of a return game last year at all. This return game this year has been pretty spot on. Well, I said that we were going to get uh, backups in, but I guess with them scoring and making it a two two possession game, yeah. they decided against it. Well, that makes sense. That makes sense. And most of these guys got a little bit of rest there on that defensive drive. Blevins, back at quarterback. He'll have Blaze Deaton to his left. Pretty heavy split over there to the left side. Yeah, that's going to be a quarterback run. There goes Blaze. Oh, there goes Blevins. Go, He's Blevins. throwing, guys. 50. Still fighting. Man, I love the way he runs. He runs very, very hard. We haven't got to see it that much tonight, but. No, really haven't. He, uh, I absolutely love when he gets rolling. That play right there was pretty heavy on the they're going to run quarterback sweep here. Deaton was split out a lot farther than he normally is. He's prob he probably about had a two or three yard split right there. And then Cannon Cody was also on that side, so they were obviously heavy that way. That's a pretty nifty little play right there for the Bearcats. Offensive line's done a great job of controlling that line of scrimmage. I've talked a lot about number 72 for them. Dalton Golden? Yeah, Dalton Golden. And he has almost been a blur Free all night. Here comes Deaton looking for some space. Deaton still fighting. Like I said, though, this offensive line has really stepped up. Offside, think, Jake? Yeah, uh, Gold, Golden was offside yeah, there. Yeah, he, he was, uh, he was uh, yep. about half a yard. Good call. Bearcat offense keeps moving. Well, it's Johnson. Relays the play in. Goes Tiller. Puts his own spin on it, too. Then Johnson goes back to doing what he was doing. Blevins steps up to the line to make the call. Quarterback keeper right side. Blevins looking for some space. And just a pretty easy 10-yard gain right there, Jake. Yep, not all day long. Yep, not much to that one. Millsaps front line kind of getting pretty worn down here. Uh huh. Blevins has Deaton to his left. McMillian and Longoria up top. Number four, Landon Ramos down here at the bottom. Deaton looking for some space. Still fighting. Pushing forward. Oh, they're going to stop that thing. It's about a three or four yard gain right there. Second and seven here. Pass comes to the outside. Blevins pass right there. He tried to go quick to uh, Bryson Washington out there, and it was almost right. Well, it, it wasn't almost. It was right into the hands of I think that was number two for them, uh, Connor Penry. But then fell straight to the ground. Blevins got lucky right there. Third and long. Blevins looking for some room. Got a fight. He's going to have to fight to get this one. Nope. Not going to get it. Third and six turns into fourth. And I think it's going to be about seven when it's all said and done here. I think we got a cramp. Cramp, maybe? Yeah. Almost I've got quite a bit of that going on tonight. Huge play right now. This ball game isn't over by any means. Bearcats do have a two possession lead here. So fourth and seven here, Jake. 
No wrestler, I don't think. Well, oh, here he comes. He's grabbing his helmet. It seems like he's walking around just fine now. And that might tip the hat to exactly what they think they got going on here. Yep. Love that. He looked back at Evan, and Evan gave him the good old, yes, head shake. So I would <laughs> probably say Esler's going in here. I would assume so. Landon when Evan, almost still out there. When Evan speaks, people listen. <laughs> it's the truth. <laughs> nope. Let's see. All right. What are we doing here? So. Three receivers to far side. One to this near side. Fugit is the back. I'm thinking screen here, Drake. Just my two cents. Blevins. Takes a snap. Drops back. Nope. Oh, looking for a man. And he finds Bryson Washington, who is going to make that catch at the first down. And he was looking. He got a little bit more. There's a late flag, though. I spoke too soon on the oh clean game. Oh, boy. Pill bag, just unnecessary. Yeah, they're going to catch those every time. After the play, though, so first down, but this is just going to move him back. I'm not on sure the if it was. I think he was still dancing around. So, yeah, that shouldn't affect. We'll see, though. We're going to discuss it. That's probably what the main part of the discussion is. is yeah. Is this after the play or is this during it? Because if it's during it, I think that would be a repeat fourth down from the spot. All right. Here comes our official word. Personal foul against the Bearcats. And they pushed him from behind. Oh, we got that one. So. Oh, they called it a live ball, so. So, live ball. All right. That's going to mark it back. 15. Going to be another fourth down. Correct. I guess I thought he had at least five yards from the, from the sticks because he was at... The, uh, I thought he was at the 10. And the first in, or the line to get right now, looks like it's at the 15. That's so where I the, guess that's I where the penalty happened. Okay, so yeah, we're about right on this. Okay. Yep, 15 from that spot, okay. I'm all in now. All right, so three receivers this near, to this near side now with the two receivers splitting way down here to the bottom. And then the slow low receiver up top. If you get the back. Blevins. I love this little route again. Takes a snap. Looking for space. Needs some time. There we Chunks go. it deep. Bryson Washington. Oh! Man. What a play, Bryson Washington. Great play, Bryson Washington. Great throw by Blevins. Wow. On the run. Great, great. Great connection. I'll be there. honest with you. I want to say probably he was throwing it out of bounds. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of did too. Whenever he chunked it up, I was like, well, has he got anybody down that way? Sure enough, Bryson Washington hanging out down there. Bearcats first down. Huge, huge first down right there. Just a big gut punch too for the mm -hmm. middle stop right there with six, 650 left. Fugit and McNillan, the backs. Takes a snap. Fugit on the carry. Looking. Trying to fight. Still trying to fight. Bearcats pushing him in. Go no, get him in. It's going to be really close. The ball is going to get what spotted down at the one yard line. Maybe the half. Yeah. What a, what a great job by the Bearcats. Getting behind him right there and pushing, their, pushing the young sophomore in. What are we doing here? Uh, injured timeout, I think. Let's get off the field, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> like, 
<laughs> they faked Brad out too on, no. the, on the one that he threw. He thought he was throwing it out of bounds, so he didn't even get it. <laughs> Need to redo this press box to get some of these pains out of the way. <laughs> hey, this, this press box is more important than a new elementary school. <laughs> Are we live? <laughs> that was Zach Byers on the call. <laughs> I'm glad your code did agree. So. <laughs> Blevins has Fugit to his right. Takes a snap. Hand off Fugit. Looking for some space. He got him. There we go. Jackson Fugit, first varsity touchdown for the young kid. And. Hey, brother. Mm -hmm. And still time to get a 50. Mm -hmm. Bryson Washington on for the extra point. Bongori the holder. Ooh, kick is up. Up. They've been pretty close tonight off that, <laughs> off that edge. Flag on the play, though. I'm curious as to what happened. I think it might go against Henrietta, or not Henrietta. Uh, I think it might go against Millsap here, just by the Henrietta players' reactions. Oh, never mind. Chalk block against Henrietta. We're gonna have to retry this extra point. That's just about outlawed, Jake, and it was it was encouraged back when me and you were still playing. Yeah, back in my day. <laughs> All right. So we will retry the extra point. Get a nice little read on Bryson Washington. See what his leg can do from... Spot this at 17 yard now. Yeah, it should be. Should be a 27 yarder. Made a 22 earlier. That we felt like he could have. Yeah. It, we felt like had a little more range to it. Yeah, wind was with him on that one. He's going to be going into the wind here. That's kind of, kind of a slight crosswind. Wind's coming out of the southeast, and I'd say probably about 12, 15 miles an hour. All right. Yeah, Miguel's gonna. Well, Miguel's actually gonna hold this thing from the 29 yard line to a 28 yard line. So it's gonna be a 38 yarder. Up. Oh wow. And wow. Cowboys need to reach out. <laughs> Another flag? Oh. Enforce that one. Running into the kicker, and that one's probably going to be enforced on the kickoff. All right. A little, little updating on the scoreboard here while we're waiting. Bearcats just added to their lead. Score is now 45-24. Let me make sure I get that in my notes. Seven. That, he'd probably be good from low 40 range. If it was all, all, all things considered. Yeah. And then if he had the wind behind him, he might be able to push that thing up there 40, 46, 47 yards maybe. All 
right, Ross Washington's gonna get a kickoff from Millsap's own 45 yard line. You saw that last week. Huh. Yeah, whole second half. But I think that one was actually from the 30. <laughs> They've corrected a lot of that this week, though. Bryson Washington on the kick. And this one's probably going out of the back of the end zone. Nope. He's going to just roll it along. Oh, Nick got to wrap him up there. Uh-oh. Two. Uh-oh. He's got uh -oh. some space. Oh, he Good got brought down. Good job. Bryson Washington is also there on that one. Got a, had a few guys there. Good job. Twenty-eight. Oh, Johnny Applegate. He was also in there. All right. 6.08 remaining here in the ball game. Bearcats 45. Millsap 24. Bearcat defense looking to get one final stop here. Potentially. Uh oh. Wide open. Oh, oh man. What an interesting play. Tippy throws it out to number 11. Trip Moore, who then chunks it downfield. Trying to find number 18, Grayson Jennings. That's going to stop the clock. Millsap taking their time, looking to the sideline to get their play. Trips to the far side. Tippy's pass intended for number 18. Jennings is incomplete. So it brings up a fourth down here. Tippy has green to his left. Trips receivers to this near side, one receiver to the far side. Here's a snap. Drops back. Screen over the middle. There we go. Oh, Bearcats and Bearcats on it. Yeah. Is that Bulldog? Got the strip there? Uh, I think that is Bulldog. First time in the I guess first time we call Bulldog this year. Yep. Ken and Cody on the uh, Bulldog. Bulldog. Will Bulldog Jaton. Ken and Cody on the recovery there. Great job, Bearcat defense there getting the ball. Here we go. And now he looks to be the number twos rolling in here. You're all too familiar with the right guard rolling in there. Yeah. A little nephew action. Uh-huh. A little bigger than me. <laughs> Just a little bit. Jaden Clark, quarterback. Blaze Deaton to his left. Cody McMillian in the slot. Miguel Longoria. Hand off Blaze Deaton. Looking for some space. Ooh, big hit. Yeah. Big, big hit right there. And so I bet Sonny Burke, I bet when they have film this week, or whenever they do film now, I don't know if they do Mondays. Mondays. 
if they do a point system and he got five points for pancakes, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and say he got 100 points for this game. Evan said he is by far and away one of the strongest kids in, in the program. It's every time yeah. I like see somebody getting drove way out of the way and end up on their back, it's him on top of them. Right. Now, he, he is a workhorse. He uh, transferred from Old Hot last year and had to sit out his junior season. Yeah. But uh, he is. You only have the score. <laughs> oh. Sorry about that, Riley. <laughs> Whoever else. Riley said score only showing now. Commentary is great, but all we can see is the score. <laughs> that's, that's a technical error on my part. I can, I can admit that one. Just didn't bring it back into focus here. It was an injury anyways. Yep, didn't, didn't miss anything. Got a little shaken up. Yep, he's walking on his own power though. I think he'll be fine. All right, Landon Ramos down here at the bottom of the screen. Miguel Longoria, Cody McMahon up top. Jaden Clark, the quarterback. Jackson Fugit, the back. Handoff, Jackson Fugit, looking for Ooh. some room. And he got about to the back to the line of scrimmage, I think, there. All right, here comes Blaze back in. 17. We don't have a 17. Shocker. <laughs> 17 is fairly short. Donovan Canedo, maybe? I'm going to take a stab and say Donovan Canedo. Chayden Clark, quarterback. Got Jackson Fugit to his left. Clark takes a snap, drops back, looking for a man. Finds Nick Mills. First down. We're going to have a hold right there. Leave on the interior. Looks like it's on number 58. No, I didn't catch it. Clark didn't have what he wanted at the beginning of it, but then he found some. He found somebody on a. It wasn't really a check down on guess, but he went through his progressions and he found Mills sitting right there at the sticks for a first I down. I've actually been on 66. <laughs> Nef the old nephew could have been on 66. That's gonna bring up third and nine for the Bearcats. It happens. All right, here we go. There aren't holds 10 yards? Yes. That's a five, that's a five yard holding penalty. <laughs> well, <laughs> getting a little late. <laughs> Clark, the quarterback, has Fugit to his left. And that was probably a little early. Well, Deep ball, though. Nice. Just maybe in case there's a free play. Nope, it wasn't. This is a false start. Well, there'll be, there's your five yard penalty. Yeah, that's a makeup call. The ball don't lie. <laughs> they might only move well, this can you, two and a half. Can you say that on a penalty whenever the other team gets the appropriate amount of yardage? Yeah. All right. So, third and 14 here. I think they'll probably do the same thing, right? Maybe a different receiver this time, but it'll probably be pretty similar to what they just did there. Let's see if the offensive line can give Clark a little bit of time. Stay clean. Clark has Fugit to his left. Three receivers to the far side, one to this near side. Take a snap. Little early. Get rid of him. Oh, get out of bounds, young fella. All right, so fourth down in Midway. Clark is going to just stay out there and he'll punt. Four or five remaining in the ball game. Bearcats lead 45-24. Cody gonna count. 
Tells Jackson Fugit, get out of here. We got too many. Deep snap. Comes what? back. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Those are always Man. the most dangerous ones yeah. right there. Remember that Sean Taylor hit on that punter in the, uh, in the Pro Bowl that one year? Yeah. That's the one that always gets played in my head whenever I play like that. Happens. That one there, he's like getting drugged down from the back so he can't like really protect himself <laughs> or do anything about it. Yep. That one, uh, he had a target on him on that one for sure. But he gets out of it. So Millsap's going to take over now. Three minutes left. Three minutes on there. Uh, oh, three minutes and 58. 358. Almost four minutes left in this ball game. Tippy, quarterback. Takes a snap. Drops back. Looking for a man. Deep ball. Got a man. 12. Oh, what a snap. Nice catch. Nice catch. Brandon Savage right there. Twisting his body around. Yeah. And he is down now. Hope we got the wind knocked out of him if I had to guess on that one. A lot of action for the training groups tonight. Brad's going to get the camera adjusted. Brothers, mm. when we were talking about it the other day, what kind of rushing season does Blevins have to uh, Ooh, do? It's in that packet right there. To so Blevins, coming into this season, had, well, actually, I've got the updated right here. So he is at 2,405 career rushing yards for the Bearcats. So he would be, tonight, coming into this thing, he would be 595 shy of getting to the 3,000 career rushing yards number. And needs how many to get the oh. school? Like oh, 1,800? Yeah, he needs a so lot. He need, no, he needs like 2,000. Oh, yeah, he's getting like 45. Yeah, right? he's... Uh, so we'd be he's state. Just, so yeah, he's a uh, he would be he's about a hundred. Well, I don't know if he's got a hundred tonight. What do you think? Think he might? Think he might be on, knocking on the door? Maybe. Or you think he's probably in the 60, 70 yard range tonight? What rushing wise? Mm, yeah, probably 70 something. Yeah. So he would be he's about a hundred shy of getting to. Uh, about 100 shy of getting to about 2,000 yards from Crumpton. Because it is, I'm pretty sure it's understood and believed that Crumpton is the Russian leader at Henrietta. I think they've got him tagged for 4,500 Russian yards and 50 Russian touchdowns, I think. 50? He had 50 senior year. Okay, so he might be, so he's probably in the 70, 80 range then. No, he broke 100. I believe think he broke 100. I believe he did. Yeah, so he's got. I just did an article not too long ago. He, yeah, he he's not going to touch him touchdowns wise, but rushing, yes, rushing yards wise, he would have to have just an unbelievable season. He'd have to have something pretty similar to what Crumpton did, and a little change. Yeah, when we were looking this up, trying to figure out kind of stats and to see where Blevins was. Uh, in the history of Henry and what he could do this year, we started looking, and uh, Times Record News did an article, uh, and just Ross Harrison was on there, and yeah. it, is, it, is just, it is unreal. 7,000 yards, I, I mean, think. it is unreal what that guy did up there at Petrolia. And that was an unquestioned. But yeah. they, they, and they said that they don't actually have – they said he got carries his freshman year, so they really don't know exactly what that Ooh. that total is, but it is well over 7,000. Yeah. That's a lot of yards. Yeah. But they, I don't know what the offense they ran was back then, but that was, he, that was early 2000s, so that was pre-spread getting to be like the big, big thing. 
I don't yeah. think I don't think spread really took off until about mid 2000s ish. I don't think. I yeah. could very well be wrong though. 4,502 yards and 66 touchdowns on the ground. 2,065 rushing yards uh, and 34 of those touchdowns uh, his senior year. Yeah. So. And long, yeah, he's got a lot. He's got a lot to get to. Uh, he has a. I would, you know, it'd be a good good thing to see where Blevins would be ranked. Uh, I mean, second, third, fourth. Got to be. Three thousand yards is a lot of yards to me yeah. for, for a high school kid. I mean, I'm not. I'm not real sure. Especially in today's, especially with today's game. I'm not real sure. I mean, maybe Keith Wolf. Potentially, we'd have, we'd have to see. But Keith Keith Wolf is a name that gets that I would uh, that I would uh, think of. Um, Cody Fletcher kind of started playing a lot more outside receiver. Yeah. Whenever he got a little bit older. He, he, but he played running back for a year. So had he stayed at running back, he might have gotten to the 3,000 mark. Blevins probably the first person to get 3,000 since Crumpton, though. Yeah. I, I would I would think. I, there's nobody that rings in off the top of my head that came, that came close. Uh, if Fuller would have stayed a little bit healthier our senior year, I think he might have gotten there. I don't know what his official numbers are, look like, though. I know he he had a great sophomore year for y'all, and I'm pretty sure he had he backed it up with a pretty deep, pretty good junior year. Just a little, just kind of got kind of caught the injury bug a little bit our senior year. Was it junior year or senior year he tore his ACL? Uh, it was a junior, wasn't it? In Paradise. Did he tear his ACL? His junior year? I believe so. Oh, I don't remember that. I thought he played all year. Our junior, or I thought he played all your junior. I might, I mean, I very well could be wrong about that. I guess. That, I mean, I, that sounds about right. I guess. We'll go straight to the source. See if he gets it. See if we get a response back. Two minutes and forty-five seconds left. Millsap just scored. Looks like they're probably going to go for two. So Millsap scores there. Score 45-30. 2.45 remaining. Retry the extra point here. Uh, Levin, he's got two guys. Yep, Levin's got two guys wide open over there. So wide open over 32 there. 32 to 45. 32 to 45. Man, this last six minutes of this game has taken it is a while. Yes, it has. Well, both teams, you know, you, you have the penalty stuff going on with the Bearcats on their fourth down try. Uh, you know, and Millsap still throwing the ball pretty heavy, trying to get, uh, trying to put points on the board still. I mean, they're not. I mean, truthfully, they're not out of this thing by any means. Two score game. Yep. Yeah. And they've kind of they've kept it for the most part at a two score game here tonight. They just kind of they just really haven't had the impact play to you know flip to flip the script and get within one possession and really put the pressure on the Bearcats. I think Nils is going to go back deep this time. Looks like. Might be rolling a hands team in here. You got Blevins out there. Cannon Cody on the front line. Bryson Washington. Jaden Clark's over there too. Yeah, I think I think Bearcats are going hands team here. Millsap still has two timeouts left. I don't know if they would take them necessarily. I think, I think we got that. Yep. That's going to be a crazy bounce if that ball didn't get back in Henry at his hands. Yep. 
Henry has the ball. Blevins. Good job, Blevins. What can he not do? Up. <laughs> if there's anything he can't do, I hadn't seen it yet. Up. Oh, oh there cool. we go. Yeah, you can catch two. All right. Let's see what this Bearcat offense looks like now. They moved the ball okay last time. Penalties kind of bit them. But they were running the ball all right. Chaden Clark comes out. They'll have Jackson Pugh get with him as a back. Bison Washington is out here. Cody McMillian. And number four, Lennon Ramos. Gage McDonald is the sniffer. Case Brown, the right tackle. Jace Roberson, right guard. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's going on? Timeout, Henrietta. I remember this head official from a game last year that I went and watched, uh, Seymour in Archer City. He enjoys talking to the coaching staffs during the game. He stands farther back than any. And he makes sure he talks to these, uh, uh, he makes sure he talks to the coaching staffs. If they have a problem, he, he will make it a point to go and talk to them. The Bearcats travel to Bowie next week. 7.30 kickoff. Let's see what that weather detail is for next week's game in Bowie, Texas. It's about, to, it's about to start getting to the point where it's football weather outside. Scott. Might still have a few weeks left on it. Yeah, Scott Williams is making the call for it next weekend or next Friday, 7.30 kickoff time. Uh-huh. Bowie, Texas. We'll be over there. Friday, 105. If you yourself can't day. make it over Ooh. there, if you yourself can't make it over there or have family that can't make it over there, we'll be on here. Plays Deaton on the run. He's going to get back to the line of scrimmage, maybe, there. What else we got? 50. Who else is out there? 52. He's few. Get 66. Jace, obviously. Who else is out there? Who's a the center here? Sonny is out there. 67. 67. Yep, Barrett Taunton. And then... Don't, 52, left tackle. Yeah. Yeah, Aiden Fugit. Chaden Clark has Blaze Deaton to his left. Gage McDonald is a sniffer. There's a snap. Chaden Clark looking for room. Oh. Fighting forward. Pretty shifty himself to get up there. Get that gain. Clark's going to keep running. Nope. Millsap. Sorry. Timeout Millsap. And that is it for them. I believe. Mm, he might have one more. Yep. Uno Moss. Both teams, one timeout remaining. 151 remaining. Millsap trails by 13 here. Bearcats, like Jake just mentioned, we're heading on the road next week. We're going to go to Bowie. Take on the Jackrabbits over there. Following that, we'll have two home games. Be calling a game there in Pioneer Reunion again this year. We'll have Archer City come to town for that. And the following week, we'll have Jacksboro. Then we'll have our bye week, and then we will go on to district. See what the Bearcats can do on the district front. Who else in our district's playing? Everybody tonight. Uh, anybody good? Holiday's got Tuscola Jim Ned tonight. Jim Ned, they uh they won state a couple years ago. Yeah, a couple years ago at the 3A Division One level. My uh, way out there in Abilene. Yeah, my cousin. You've always got a cousin. He graduated from there. Oh, okay. But is that the one that's a DC? No. No, different no. one. Travis graduated from here. Oh, that's right. But do you know the Muffin Man? What quarterback? was from Jim Ned. Yeah, Colton Cole. That's correct. 
and his little brother went there before he went to Graham. Yep, before he went to He's Graham. He's famous for beating Texas A&M oh, the last time that they played. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm aware. I'm so glad that they're going to start playing again next year, and we don't have to hear that anymore. That's going to be a false start against the Bearcats. A little delay right there. Bearcats are going to be third and ten now. Ball's going to be spotted on their own. Well, right there at midfield, 50 yard line. Jaden Clark has Blaze Deaton to his left. Jim Ned beat the Holiday Eagles 40 to 22 final. There you go. Clark looking for some room here. Still looking for some room. Wee. And another flag on the play. Oh, Jake, this is just dragging on and on and on. Thank you, Riley, for the update on that holiday score. But the Cater Rider, 38-40-14. Bowie, Bowie beating up on Bridgeport. Bridgeport. Brock, are they ever any good? <laughs> 28 to 14 over Hershey. Jacksboro over Boyd in the Jacksboro. fourth quarter. Ja Jacksboro is really, really good. If you want to see a game where uh, you can find out all about the Bearcats and see what they've got, Jacksboro is going to be. That's probably the. That's probably our by district's winner right there. So if you finish in first, if you finish in fourth place, that's probably who you're going to be meeting up with. And then. Archer City over Anson in the fourth quarter right now, 21 to six. Hello. Bearcats are at timeout here. It's fourth down. Clark did everything he could to get back to first down there. Or get back to the line of scrimmage anyway. So we'll see what the Bearcats want to do here. I can't imagine that they'll force the issue here. So, Millsap is out of timeouts now, officially. So if the Bearcats can find a way to get a first down here, they can knee it out. Chayden Clark drops back, fires. Oh, just missed Bryce and Washington. Nice little play to go to him on, though. That was ideal. That was, that was the one you wanted. All right, so minute and 36 ring, Jake. It's not over yet by any means. Bearcats defense is going to have to strengthen up here. Millsap's going to be throwing the ball. But if you can get, a, if you can get four stops here, you... You're going to find yourself in the win column and at one and one on the season. Tippy has green to his right. Drops back. Looking for a man. Steps up. It. Chunks it. Deep. Touchdown. Oh, no. He's got a man wide open. Number 12. Oh, my God. Go, go, go. Thomas, Thomas. Got to hurry. Got to hurry if you're Millsap here. And my goodness. Right over the top. Short by a yard here. Thirteen under center. Snip. And he gets in. So now things are getting interesting, Jake. Yes, they are. Them starters are gonna have to make their way back into the game. Does yeah. that kill it for us? I don't think so. I think it's still she just keeps rolling. So now we're going to have to do a little more updating here in just a second. 118 on the clock. What's the chart say, Jake, when you're down by seven? 
I'm down by seven kick to extra. Oh, yeah. Let's see. All right. So here comes the extra point. Camarillo on to kick the extra point here. Dun, 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 dun. He missed on this end oh, earlier. Big, big, big. He missed on this, this end. end. Kick is up. Yep. And it's good. And it's good. So your score, 118 remaining here in the fourth. Bulldogs 39. Bulldogs 39. Bearcats 45. Bulldogs are almost assuredly going to kick an onside here. So your onside team has to be ready here, Jake. Yes. And it, with the way that the Millsap's offense is going, these past two, oh, their past two drives, they have a, uh, it is not over by any means here. Bearcats gonna have their hands team out here. This is a big onside. Ooh. This game's been pretty laid back all night, Jake, for the most part. Bearcats have been in control, but boy, it doesn't feel like that right now, does it? No. I mean, ever since the second half, I think Millsap came out a little there it is. It's going to be a little deep. Bearcats are on it. And that's going to be it. Bearcats are going to be able to kneel this thing out. We're going to get our first win of the season right there. Blevins once again on top of it. Great win. Yep. Very, very good convincing win right there. Coming out of this one, what, what's your major concerns for next week? You know... I don't know what, I don't really know what uh, Bowie's offense is really running over there. I don't really know what their defense has going on either necessarily. I know they are, uh, I know they're trying to get that program back to uh, what they once knew it as. Yeah. Uh, they haven't been themselves in a while, so I know Price is over there trying to get that thing back right. Um, yeah, you understand. He's going to, uh, yeah, he's going to, uh, I can imagine they'll probably try to throw the ball around a little bit. Yeah. So if they d if they have any kind that's of size at receivers, those can, those my, can that's no major concern. We're we're two weeks in and then two games. The we've, most teams that we've played have definitely got back behind uh -huh. uh, our secondary, and then it's not just once. It's not like a busted play. It's it's last week it was five times. This uh -huh. week it, it's been yep. quite a bit as of late too. Yep. I completely agree. That was a. Uh, that's one of those things, man. Where you just. Uh, I don't know. Sometimes, it, sometimes plays break down, and you know, you just have those kind of plays happen. But uh, it is becoming kind of a regular thing. Uh, but like we, you know, like we noticed tonight, you know, the Bearcat coaching staff, you know, they went in this week. They didn't tackle very well last week. What did they go in and do? They come in out tonight. The, Bear, well, the Bearcats come out tonight. And they tackle pretty well tonight for the most part all night long. Yeah, they really did. Uh, you know, it's just all about continuing to read. To continuing to build on what you got going on, you know these games. Yeah, they matter on the on the uh, on the record sheet and everything like that. But at the end of the day, they don't technically matter when it comes to seeding you for the playoffs potentially down the road. Yeah, and these are the games that you that you need to be using, getting better week in week out. Find out what your weaknesses are. 
figure out what you need to do to get better week in, week out. Well, Jake, for myself, Zach Byers, and Jake Robertson, we're going to sign off. We'll see y'all next week on the YouTube page. We'll see y'all next week. We'll be over in Bowie. If you can't make it over to Bowie, tune in. If you have any family that's not going to be able to make it over to Bowie, tune, make sure y'all tune in. We will see y'all down.